Chegando para vocês mais uma reflexão cristã para abençoar o seu dia. Deixe o seu like e se inscreva no canal. Jesus name. Sickness. Get out right now. When you give your life to Jesus, you lose your life for the gospel. You either give it to him or you keep it back from him. There's a spirit of fear that tries to encapsulate the church to keep her from walking in the spirit of love and power and a sound mind. How does fear get cast out by the perfect love of God? Unless you know and understand that you've been loved perfectly and you're loved perfectly, that spirit of fear is intact. And it tries to stop you from being bold for God. In Jesus' name, let her go. In Jesus' name, right now. Why do I witness to people? Because God loves people. Because God loves me. Why do I share the gospel? Because I'm supposed to. Yeah, well, that's because you're an evangelist. No, I'm a believer. It says that believers, believers will tell all creation. There is no in-between, guys. There's no gray area. Yeah, this isn't like, this isn't just, a, I, I want Jesus a little bit. This is all or none. This is surrender or not surrender. You're a target for the enemy when you don't surrender. You incorporate Jesus in just so you can act like a Christian. You're really a hypocrite. People are going to hell because of your life. Oh my gosh, he has more thoughts for me than outnumber those grains of sand in the whole world and every thought's for my welfare, every thought. Try to, for the person that you love the most, try to take a handful of sand and pick out grain at a time and come up with things about them. See how far you get. Do you know that your name is Christian? It's not just Shem, it's Christian. One anointed by God. One in which the Holy Spirit dwells in. And He wants to rest upon you. So that you can destroy hell for a living. Blessed are those who are poor in spirit. Blessed are those that don't think they know it all. But are teachable. Blessed are those that are not arrogant and think they know everything. Blessed are those that are teachable by the teacher. Blessed are those. Like he gave us two commandments. Love God with all my heart, my soul, my strength, my mind, and love my neighbor as myself. They are the two commandments that he told us to follow. If you love God with all your mind, your hand can't cause you to sin. All of those who desire to live godly, not to preach godly, not to talk godly, but to live godly, will suffer persecution. God says this in the Beatitudes, Blessed are those that hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. When you're right standing with God, you get persecuted for it. You get made fun of. People make fun of you. 
People mock you and scoff you. And people, people say all kinds of mean things against you. For my name's sake, Jesus said. If they hated me, they're going to hate you. It's a reward. Great is your reward in heaven. Sickness is from the devil. You're going to see that in just a few minutes because God's going to sweep through and heal people because He can. He wants us to know how much He loves us. He's a good God. He's good. Jesus went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed by the devil. What we're saying is, I surrender all. All. All to Jesus. We're not saying, I'm giving you a little bit. I'm saying, I'm not taking back my life. You can have it all. God wants to use you to heal the sick. God wants to use you to cast out devils. God wants to use you to cleanse the lepers. God wants to use you to raise the dead. God wants to use you to preach the gospel to the poor. This is a call to say, I'm done living for me, and I want to burn with Jesus for the rest of my life here. And I want to make a difference in people's paths every day. When people walk by me, I want to give them the glorious gospel. So we had, I had, we had this one guy come through, this one young kid, he's like a big bodybuilder kid, comes through and I heard the Lord say that he told his brother before he was going through, I'm going to prove this is a bunch of junk. The kid said, oh, wow. he comes through like this, comes through and God hits this kid like, and it, I mean, he spins in a circle and hits the ground. This kid is on the ground, he tries to get up, he can't walk. And then God blinded him and took his sight away. And the Holy Spirit just sucker punched him in the love of God. The kid's on the ground, he's on the ground and he's like, he can't see. And I went, are you okay? He goes, I can't see. Please tell me why I can't see. I said, because you've been blind, but you're going to get up seeing, son. I said, you've doubted God. You came through this tunnel doubting God, but you're going to go out on fire with Jesus. He goes, okay, just give me my sight back. I said, I'm not. God's the one. He'll give you your sight back, man. And the kid got up and the next night. He came up. He was one of the first kids to come up. Uh, my whole life is in. I'm just, this, I'm done. people healed every time we touch them. I want to see blind see, the deaf hear. I want to see the lame walk. I want to see paralytics get out of wheelchairs. I want to see all that. The dead raise all of it. And it's not having faith in my faith. It's having faith in God. So he's just all night long speaking me just that one scripture. If they have faith in God, I couldn't get to sleep. And I, I kept tossing and turning. But this one thing, and I know it was God keeping me awake. And when I got to Rhema, when I got there to speak, I realized this is why Jesus he curses the fig tree and he's supposing that there might be fruit he goes up there and there's no fruit on the tree a Christian from a distance looks like a Christian but when you get up close do they have fruit that bears witness of what kind of tree they really are he curses it and may, may no one eat free from you again ever guys come on have faith in God for if you speak to this mountain be removed 
So I need to shift and turn my faith to God because we need to speak to mountains and they need to move, man. They need to leave. I need to not have mountains hang around once we've told them to get out. Jesus never gave anybody an excuse. He never told anybody why it didn't move because it always left. It always moved. As Christians, we come up with a lot of reasons why people aren't healed or why this mountain is still there. I want to be like him. I don't want to have excuses. Jesus said, you have faith in God. I need to step it up, press in, and go after intimacy and relationship with my Father. I'm on a lung transplant list, but I don't believe in God because He paid for it for me. And He's always... And my healing and all things are possible. Amen. He's a healer, and tonight I checked my oxygen level, and it's never been at 97%, so I actually had to turn it down. Good. Tonight, oh. after we were praying. Praise the Lord. That's so awesome. So I love the fact that it doesn't matter what I'm going through, it doesn't matter where I'm at, I'm going to share the gospel. I'm going to share Jesus everywhere. I love that I have found out that it's not just for pastors, apostles, prophets, evangelists, and teachers. I am really, really thankful that the Bible says these signs will follow them that believe. That means that if you're a believer, you're in, it's you, it's yours. You are the only one that limits you, because God did not limit you. I need to jump in with everything I am. I can't afford to hold back for such time as this. That's who you are at your workplace. That's who you are at your school. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter where you're at. No one limits you. Take the chains off of our Father. How can you light up the world if you can't light up your own house? The only reason you couldn't light up your house is if you have a basket on your head. Because you're allowing the things around you to determine the Christ within you. You're allowing the squeeze to determine what you can manifest. God didn't give you a spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound mind. But you can't walk in love and power without a sound mind. Sound mind comes from the, from the renewing of your mind. From the Word of God, from the truth of God's Word. He wants me to represent Him. He paid a high price for me. And if I see my value, in me, then I'll see your value in you. I'll love God with all my heart. And what people say won't determine what I'm going to walk out. I'm going to walk out what God says. Because I don't fear man, I fear God. Would you be a warrior? Would you pick up a rock and go after the giant? Would you live your life in Christ and realize that God is for you and not against you? Would you slay a giant so that people could follow you and blaze a trail of faith, man, so that we could walk bold before the Lord and crush hell so that the armies of God could see somebody that walks in victory that annihilates the devil? Se gostou dessa reflexão, deixe seu like e se inscreva no canal. Acesse nossa playlist com todos os vídeos do canal. Temos vídeos publicados toda semana. Reflexão Cristã.